Hannibal is at the gates. Though the Carthaginian general and his savage mercenaries lack the strength to take Rome itself, they have set the Italian countryside aflame and have defeated every legion set against them for the past ten years. Now, spies tell us that Hannibal has sought out his brother Hasdrubal, who has slipped our grasps in Hispania and crossed the Alps just as Hannibal did a decade ago. If Hasdrubal's army is allowed to join Hannibal's, Rome would surely fall to the barbarous Carthaginians. Go now, Consul of Rome. Divide our enemies and conquer them. Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome to the Rise of Rome campaign. We are on the fourth scenario, the Battle of Matorus. This is a very difficult and challenging 2v1 mission. We need to destroy both Carthaginian forces or build a wonder. I am going to cripple red straight off the bat and then I'm going to take the fight to yellow. How's the bow? Let's begin. This is a very technical opener. There's a lot going on here. Um, I'll try and explain it as best I can. First things first, we need one guy to build ourselves a... Um, one guy to build a siege workshop to use against yellow. Just taking care of these guys at the moment. Second guy builds a watchtower there. It's a very specific location. Uh, we're continuing getting workers. Workers and archers at this point. So we need more farms. These guys on a separate hot key. Now, let's the next phase of the trap, which is to build a watchtower right here. Enemy goes crazy and bloodlusty. I want to focus down the hot light. Kill these guys. This is pretty much bringing all of their forces, all of their peasants to bear. All right, just crippled. I can go so far as saying Red is dead. At this point, so now we move on to the next phase of our tactic, which is to take down Yellow. We need to be fast because Yellow gets a big army very quickly. Especially as most of their army tends to be, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be doing that. Yeah, Red will basically just suspend all, use all its resources taking care of that. Um, have I got any... Yes, I do. I want to build one of these. Okay, fantastic. Oh, hang on, these two. What we're targeting here is the uh, all of their stables. 
because this is a car. Uh, this is a. Um, I'm not going to say stable faction, but they are a uh, horse focused faction. Cavalry focused faction, maybe. But yeah, you get the point. They like cavalry, and we don't want them to have their best units. So we are here to stop that from happening. Triple their eco. Cavalry are the big problem for sure. This enemy is relentless. They will keep on rebuilding stuff and they'll get on our nerves. But this is the way to beat both of them quickly and dare I say efficiently. I'll take care of the town centre. I definitely take care of this stable. Definitely want to take care of that church. Similar to last time, you just take care of all the bills. I'm just going to focus on the town centre at this point. Yeah, the enemy really doesn't like it when you build towers in their uh, land. I don't know why it's, it seems to be a very um, scripted thing. But yeah, building building towers in enemy lands really rolls them up. Which is something obviously we like to take advantage of. At this point, both enemies are basically crippled beyond ever being able to come back in this game. Red is actually officially dead, so there's basically nothing they can do. We do need to, st unfortunately, they still will refuse to resign. <laughs> is very much a um, age of um, empires thing. Enemies refusing to resign even when they're definitely dead. So we kind of got to force the issue. I think we need to destroy their TCs more than anything else. I think both of them have another one. I think that red has one over here and the main one here. I don't actually know where yellow is. Using to give up, that's for sure. Focus more on the old uh, food production.
I actually think yellow has um, some troops hidden around the map as well. So we do need to uh, deal with that. At this point we don't really need anyone more on stone. So instead I will build another siege workshop here and we'll start taking down Red, officially. Well, they, they have no resources. There's nothing they can do. More, come on, more on gold. Boats, is that what's keeping them in the game, I guess? Or maybe it's just they have boats. Nice. Okay, so it's the boats that are stopping Red from leaving. Now I just need to find out where... Yellow's remaining fleet is... Actually, I think they've got a um, couple of troops. So let's do grub boys, bring them over here. We just need to get both of them to resign. I'm pretty sure Yellow has nothing left on this... Plateau. So you must have units elsewhere on the map. Load up a couple of troops, see if we can find them. Cavalry probably be better suited for this, but. They've got a thing, of course they have. Naturally. Bring a uh, builder with me. There's a couple of guys. So they got then. This is the pain of uh, the original Age of Empires series, man. Having to faff around trying to find where, well, probably one worker or something it is. Anything else on this island? That's red. What's on this island? Anything? Oi, 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 this is painful. Right, let's build some cav. Much better at scouting maps. 
Big old islands, there probably is something on there. Okay, there they are. Cool. GG's. Your victory at the Metaurus River has given hope to all Romans, long terrorized by the dark specter of Hannibal. With the Carthaginian generals stalemated in Italy, our legions march against our enemies in far-off Hispania. Led by Publius Scipio, a son of the storied house Cornelius, the legions have defeated Carthage's allies, the Iberian tribes. The promising young general is not satisfied by these triumphs. He has designs on Africa and Carthage herself. Alrighty, folks, that'll right about do it for this very, very challenging mission. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.